and welcome to Pirate News. I'm Megan Gonzalez. And I'm Olivia Klein. Today we will cover everything from campus events, Seton Hall sports, and your five-day weather forecast. Are you interested in learning to ease your stress? Join in the Cigna EAP webcast to learn how changing your outlook and reactions can help reduce your stress. Once you've viewed the presentation, you'll be able to receive a certificate of attendance upon request. The presentation will be aired today from 2 to 3 p.m. To register for this event or for more information, go to shoe.edu. The Peter Schein Poster Workshop will be held tomorrow in the Walsh Library, Space 154 from 1 to 2 p.m. This workshop will focus on creating educational posters through various graphs, colors, and organizational tactics. If you want to create a poster masterpiece, register online. For more information, contact Alex Palaya at shoe.edu. Join the Philosophy Department and Mathematics and Computer Science Department as they present a lecture by Dr. Azuni, a professor of philosophy at Tufts, on why there are no numbers. Dr. Azuni will discuss his answers to what numbers are, if they truly exist, what kinds of things they are, and how we know them. This lecture will be held tomorrow from 5.15 to 6.45 p.m. in the University Center. For more information, contact Denise Vagani at denise.vagani at shoe.edu. Find out what's new in Office 365 with the Productivity Service tomorrow from 12 to 1 p.m. in the Walsh Library, Space 154. Learn about the most popular applications within Office 365, including Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Teams, OneDrive for Business, and Skype for Business. Register for the event online. For more information, contact Alex Palea at shoe.edu. And now we'll head over to Brian Hennel with your Seton Hall Sports Update. Brian? Thanks, Megan, and hello there, Pirate fans. I'm Brian Hennel here with the latest in your Seton Hall sports. Men's basketball spent the weekend at Madison Square Garden advancing through the Big East tournament. The Pirates first knocked off the six-ranked Georgetown Hoyas in the corner final round with a 73-57 win. The Hall then faced second-seeded Marquette for the second time in two weeks and upset the Golden Eagles 81-79, advancing to the Big East tournament championship game. The Pirates faced the one-seeded Villanova Wildcats, who they fell to with a final score of 74-72. The second place tournament finish advances the Pirates to the NCAA tournament for the fourth consecutive year. The 10 seed Pirates will face the 7 seed Wofford at tomorrow at 9.30 p.m. Moving over to the Diamond, the baseball team split their final series against Harvard in the Snowbird Classic, winning the first 7-4 but losing the second 2-6. Sophomore Casey Dana and junior Matt Toke both batted well with Dana hitting a go-ahead homer while Toke went 2-3 for three with a walk and an RBI and a stolen base. The split is a step in the right direction for the Pirates as they are now 3-12. Finally, we move to softball as the team split this weekend against Chattanooga and Purdue. The Pirates defeated Chattanooga 8-2 with the help of four late runs at the seventh inning from Catherine Mithaeus, Chris Ahead, and Haley Ortega. The Pirates' second game of the day against Purdue went differently as the Big Ten team went up three runs by the third inning, eventually beating the Pirates 7-0. The Pirates return to action tomorrow where they face Manhattan. And that's all for your Seton Hall Sports Update. Once again, I'm Brian Hennel. Now back to Megan and Olivia with more of the news that you need to know. Thanks, Brian. SAB will be hosting Jackson Day on April 7th, featuring a trip to Howling Woods Farm and the Jackson Outlets. Tickets are $15 and include round-trip transportation to the Howling Woods Farm and then the outlets. The buses will leave the rec center at 11 a.m. Tickets are on sale now. Visit the Seton Hall Eventbrite page for more information. Are you interested in learning how to use Echo 360 personal capture software to record your audio computer screen or your web camera? Stop by Space 154 of the Walsh Library tomorrow from 3 to 4 p.m. to learn the interesting features of this software. These features include flipping the classroom or providing course material prior to class sessions. To register or for more information on this event, make sure to go to shoe.edu. Now we'll head over to Quentin Tram with your five-day weather forecast. Quentin? Thanks, Olivia. My name is Quentin Tram. This is your five-day weather forecast for the South Orange area. Today, we will see mostly cloudy skies with a high of 53 and a low of 38. Be sure to pack your umbrellas because Thursday will be rainy with a high of 50 and a low of 38. The scattered showers will continue into Friday with a high of 50 and a low of 30. Looking into the weekend, Saturday will be mo partly cloudy with a high of 49 and a low of 33. And finally on Sunday, it will be mostly sunny with a high of 61 and a low of 40. That's all for your five-day weather forecast. Once again, I'm Quinta Tram. Now back to Olivia and Megan for more of the news you need to know. Thanks, Quentin. Alumni Relations is now collecting the annual senior gift. 
The Senior Gift encourages seniors to give back to the university with donations benefiting the Student Emergency Fund. Seniors who donate will receive a tassel for their cap along with the keychain. Donations will be collected at the 56 Days to Graduation event on Monday, March 25th from 1 to 3 p.m. in the main lounge. Donations can be made via cash, check, Pirates Gold, or online at shoe.edu slash seniors. Join the Slavic Club as they will be holding their annual Easter Eggs Decorating Workshop. Participants will learn the ancient Slavic art of decorating eggs that are called pasenki. The event will be held tomorrow from 6.30 to 9.30 in Beck Rooms A, B, and C of the Walsh Library. For more information, contact Anna Kucha at anna.kucha at chew.edu. This concludes our broadcast of Pirate News. I'm Olivia Klein. And I'm Megan Gonzalez. Thanks for watching and have a great day.